Hello everyone, this is Zane Game Arts, who did another unboxing, another offline gaming experience. This is Test Drive Eve of Destruction for the PlayStation 2. To jump right into it, this game held a lot of nostalgic factor for me, as I remember growing up and playing this game quite fondly. But before that, let's go into the details about the game. Test Drive Eve Destruction is a Destruction Derby-esque style game where it's more of a backyard kind of style-esque where you use junker cars and vehicles and just vehicles that are on its last legs and old vehicles and just start ramming them, crashing them, destroying them, and so forth. It's very, I mean, I, don't, I hate to use these kinds of words, but hillbilly, redneck, you kind of get that vibe, vibe from it, but there's a lot of passion and love that goes into this kind of theme. And there's nothing wrong with that. It has a lot of uh, dedicated groups and people who play it, uh, do this in real life. And I mean, they should be respected for their choice in life and direction. And I just, it's nice to play a game that is focused on that theme quite a bit. Then your typical, you know what I mean, hey, let's play super fast, realistic racing cars or high speed professional NASCAR racers. These are your junker cars, main trailer park, main people who use just beat up vehicles and put the good use to them and to put on a show for everyone. So kudos to them. But going into the game, the game has a career mode, single player mode, as well as a dare where you can do some special challenges and so forth, as well as you can play four player split screen, which that's a dying thing these days. But uh, as you play career mode, you start with a junker, really weak and slow junker car. You eventually went, start winning races and bets and so forth, be able to upgrade and play in the tournaments and so forth, and just build up money. You can buy newer cars, trading cars, even do a paint job over your car, um, do special time trials as well as special events, or compete against other like, special class racers. Like, it's just it, it's it's got a slew of content. One thing that's really noticeable is that the, there's a mini variety of game types that you can play with it. You got destruction derby, you got normal race, you got survival, you got soccer, you got turnaround, you got <laughs> there's there's more that I can name off. There's a lot of modes you can play in this game. That's what something that's really impressive, and you don't see in nowadays games either. The considering how many modes this game has. There is a slight misc of open world exploration in terms of the campaign mode, where you can drive around to locations and get to there, but you can't hit the pause button and immediately jump to the locations you want to. But please keep in mind, when you're driving free roam like this, uh, the game, if you do get in an accident, you do damage your vehicle. But one thing that's really interesting is that the games have, the cars have permanent damage, where over time, if you keep banging up the car, there's a limit that you can only repair it. And eventually that limit will be getting bigger and bigger and bigger and to the point where your car can only be repaired up to 20%. So at that point, you might as well just sell it and buy a new car. This keeps a constant roast cycle around with in terms of selling old cars to get new cars. But what's cool is that sometimes it's not all about getting the fastest and the best as getting the fast and the best is more expensive to upgrade as well as repair. It's a cool mechanic where it keeps things flowing and again I kind of hope to see a newer version of this as it's a very unique formula and it can be expanded a lot more nowadays wise than what this game provide. But overall the game has a great soundtrack. Graphically the cars do look nice and the structural environment and so forth is okay. It's a little bland at times but for its time point and what it is, it's, it's still a decently gaming experience. The game has some bit of wacky physics at times. You'll be fly, finding yourself flying and whipping around everywhere. So the physics can be a little wonky and that can be a little annoying, especially when you're doing like a time trial and you hit one little bush or I mean, a, a hay bale and your car goes flying. But sometimes that adds to the joys and formula of how the game can be memorable because of how wacky and funny the thing can be. But other than that, Career mode was actually pretty easy. That's only the downside I can say is the game doesn't have no difficulty system. And I had next to no hardship in this game. Actually, the only hardship I actually got out of the game was doing the time trials. As some of them were, I mean, you had to be pitch perfect to be able to pull them off. But doing the career mode and racing against competitors, not super hard as long as you know what you're doing. I mean, in terms of, I mean, make sure you repair and what vehicles you're going to be using in terms of what... Uh, challenge that is that like say destruction derby mode we gotta ram everybody use a destruction derby car for that instead of your normal racing car i mean, I mean common sense but overall the game was just a joyful experience for me to come back to and i've been holding off playing it because i wanted to make a proper video for this game as i remember it fondly and it's not a game that you see commonly people talk about in terms of hey bring back an old ps2 racing game 
it is up there in terms that people have know of it, but compared to like things like Burnout and Need for Speed and so forth, I mean, I mean Test Drive either Destruction gets a little put on the backwater. I think the game has a lot of chances of being something even bigger and better in nowadays gaming. I hope to see something inspired by this, or maybe like a PS4's port of this one, main or PS5. Main, that would be cool, because the game is still very fun and good to play even now. And I can see some of the game modes that this game has, like thing the soccer, which is kind of like Rocket League. But uh, you have, like like I said, Turnaround and then uh, Red Rover. Stuff like that can be really cool for online multiplayer and so forth. So... In my opinion, Ease of Destruction is a definitely a game you would probably want to get in your PS2. I do believe it's available on Xbox, maybe GameCube, but I know it's available for Xbox. But overall, it's one of those neat little games they have on your shelf that has a lot of charm and just play, replay value to it. Because you can even beat the career mode and still play standard arcade mode and still get reputation and unlock more content in the game by just playing the game. Which is always a plus in my opinion. You're not forced to play the career mode if you just want to just smash cars and unlock stuff. So, always a huge plus there. So, in my opinion, Ease of Destruction is well worth to be in your collection if you're into these kind of genre kind of games of racing and destruction and so forth. And the soundtrack is actually really good. Sadly, I had to disable it because of copyright issues and so forth, but... In my opinion, Ease of Destruction is well worth being in your collection. It's a darn good game. Last time I saw it, it's starting to get a little pricey to get in your collection, so it's your choice what you, what you want to spend on it. So, like always, I try to leave links down in the description if you're into copying. I say definitely look into it if it's something you might be interested in. So, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in my next unboxing video. Bye bye Probably since the 50s have been running cars in each other. Anything is likely to happen out there, you can't predict anything. You get addicted to it. You know, I'm addicted. The harder they hit me, the harder I want to hit them. It makes it fun. Sometimes the impact just blanks your mind out. If I don't get you up on your feet at least one time, you come see me at the end of the show, and I'll pay your ticket. I like to tire up cars. I love to crash. <laughs>